in 2015, I wasn't sure if I should do long track or short track. Coming from an inline skater, we always go for a long track. But uh, I was I liked racing a lot with skaters and more than rather than doing time trials all the time. So I choose short track more, and uh, so and then I wanted to I wanted to do a little bit more big in the sport. So I completely moved to short track, and I've been uh, competing since 2016. So full time short track. It's the lactate in the legs that I feel. <laughs> it's the hardest ever. Like I've I've done long track, short track, and inline. And out of the three sports, I would say I would say short track is the hardest ever. And like, uh, for example, in inline and long track, if you're too tired, and that part, when you crash, it's painful. It's like, uh, and uh, it's like, for example, in inline and long track, when you're getting tired and painful as getting there, you can have some recovery. Here, you hit the wall, like the legs hit the wall. You're done. You're done. There's nothing else, and yeah, that's the hardest thing. And of course, the crashes and the crazy racing with the skaters and everything, that's the hardest part. It's more of a mental game than a physical game, and I've uh, been trying to push myself there. One, I feel because I'm not a top athlete for in my sport like, compared to the rest of the world, I feel like I feel bad for myself. Like so a lot of times, like uh, I'm not up to there. And stuff like that, but the, uh, and on, a, on, a, on the flip side, I feel really good representing a lot of people and like uh, and the whole country. I'm just the only one. I feel proud and motivated. At the same time, I feel like I have to do more. It's like there is a, the plus point and the negative point as well for it.